very good evening to everyone who have joined good the evening. webinar at the outset i am very much thankful to the organizer dr prashant sarkar who worked uh, for all these uh, six speakers and taken the consent and the, given the date for each and every one and of course uh, it's my pleasure to welcome professor asmita vele uh, who is a very signature in the field of rasas and you all friends let you all mute your uh, system so that uh, only you can listen and concentrate to what we are going to discuss in the next 30 minutes fine okay so friends uh, here the title assigned to me by dr sarkar uh, is the rasaushadis of ayurveda its contemporary relevance in combat with the covid or in combating with the covid on the screen you are seeing two papers one is the editorial of the this one is the from the new england journal of medicine nejm the modern science the uh, most reputed and here is the one from the journal of the alternative and complementary medicine it is under the proof and uh, written by the professor bhutan patwardhan the pune team i can say of the savitri bai phule university so uh, this was tweeted by professor bhushan patwardhan yesterday evening that uh, this particular paper public health approach for ayurveda and yoga for covid 19 prophylaxis if uh, one will go through this then uh, they are assuring that uh, if uh, all the principles of ayurveda and the yoga will be followed in a very systematic way in the way it should be then the population global population not only limited to the india may be benefited by the all this uh, attacks or the all these diseases or the all the symptoms created by the covid so this is a very confirmatory very affirmative paper written by the professor bhushan patwardhan and his team i congratulate the whole team so that they had aware the whole globe about the importance of the ayurveda and the yoga in this paper and here on the another side if you see the title of the editorial is the, the untold tool here they are every second third day they are moving about the new things uh, what the covid 19 they are discovering and they are asking for all its treatment and they are discussing the all things how we can do the necessary and how can we save the lives of people and everyone is knowing here what is happening in the us the most developed and all the europe in that proportion india is safe everyone is talking about that what is special with the indians and uh, that much amount of the casualty is not there even the contamination so with this background uh, and uh, here in the field of ayurved the rasaushadis are always under attack due to this reason or due to that reason is coming like that yeah change it is not moving yes next okay fine so here before talking to the stigma about the rasaushadis in the mindset of the administrators in the mindset of the scientists in the mindset of the some common public even and even the ayurvedists that the rasaushadis are having some problem before that i wish to salute all the corona fighters right from any stream ayurveda siddha yunani homeopathy and the modern allopathic system of the medicine who are all and not only this the medical stream but the all police personnel the sanitary uh, it implies and also the administration of the whole country and uh, this is the new website of the ministry of ayush which has been changed and uh, it is the if you click the ministry of ayush website you will get this covid 19 first and all efforts made by the 
Ministry of Ayush, and really we wish to adore Madhya Rajesh Kotecha, the secretary, who is uh, turning many points and he is going all from pillar to post to establish the IU system in the mainstream of the country in this period of the national crisis successfully. I wish to repeat the word successfully. The addresses of the Prime Minister, the notifications of the, even the Ministry of Health on the 6th of April is having on its own side what are the advisories and what are the words given by the Ministry of IUS. Okay, fine. Then if you here, uh, just uh, perhaps this time of WhatsApp message, nothing is confidential and nothing is uh, uh, limited to a particular person or the group. This document before release, officially it was circulated all over country. This document is prepared by the All India Institute of Ayurveda and specifically and the all national institutes director and the uh, Professor Meeta Kotecha, Professor Tamja Nishri, Dr. Sanjeev Sarma, Dr. Anup Thakkar, Professor P.K. Goswami, DZ, or Professor K.S. Diman, everyone at the, the top on the Ministry of Ayus, they have prepared this along with the faculty of the All India Institute of Ayurveda. Something I wish to discuss from this document, Guidelines for Ayurveda, Practitioners for COVID-19. It's a good document, it's appreciable. And of course, the team deserve appreciation, adorable, adoration from us. Here, they have noted very, very specifically that uh, at what stage the subsidies may be and uh, how they can be used. It's a point of satisfaction. Earlier, I was really disappointed when the first advisory of the Ministry of IUS appeared and there was a line. This is a platform where I should uh, speak uh, you know, my full honesty because I was really disappointed when the first paragraph of the advisory of the Ministry of Ayush was stating the Ayurveda is the herb-based system of the medicine. This particular line was uh, noted by many of us and uh, we thought how this may be like that. How people are not thinking that the Rasavsadis are the really integrated, amalgamated part of Ayurveda. How can we emphasizing that only it is the herbal medicine? Anyhow, it was. And uh, the further advisory was not having that particular line. And even in this document, several Rasavsadis are quoted at the different stages. Yeah, it's a good photograph you are seeing. <coughs> if you are seeing on your screen here, uh, they have divided very brilliantly uh, the different targets group and in this target groups they have given the first stage, second stage, third stage if you see on your screen and uh, they have uh, said that the uh, target groups may be the different and then the stage is the swastika symptoms with the jar, first stage, second stage, vat kapha jar, third stage is the vat kapha sannipata jar. Then, uh, in my mind, I was searching the, whether they have indicated, they have suggested any of the sources or not. I was fearing, truly speaking, I was fearing it may be also only the herbal uh, formulations of the Ayurveda. But uh, when I <coughs> went all those things line by line, then I noticed that, oh, yes, the sources are very much here and uh, they have quoted it. So, the point is here that uh, everyone, if they are indicating, suggesting, they are talking about the resources of these, well in the document, why then there is no general opinion about the acceptance of the resources of these, that it should be in the mainstream, why people talk about the Simply, it's the Ayurveda herbal system of the medicine. Of course, uh, our secretary, when he was giving the webinar on the, with the Vigyan Bharti, and after his very uh, systematic and the informative and the really having good therapeutic value of that speech, one question was there and raised by the, what about your thinking about the Rasavsadi? Then he said very <laughs> politely, right now we are working the herbal systems of the medicine, certainly we will take the resources of these two and uh, in due course of time. Anyhow, 
here i wish to say to all the listener who have joined me here almost from every discipline and from all across country see the ayurveda was being practiced here since thousand and thousand of years what was those compulsory things why they have developed this mercurial medicines for 500 years from 5th ad to the 10th ad and then in the 11th century they integrated uh, in the <coughs> this uh, main classics of the, the in the with the commentary of the charak sangita by acharya chakrapani in the chakrada so my mercurial miracle mercurial born is this condition now because every one of us is knowing i shall take only one minute on this issue that uh, there is a movement all over the mercury free environment and the mercury should not be used for anything here in the india also the things are the same india is a signatory and they have bound that the they have signature the bond that the memorandum of uh, understanding that the up to 2025 the india will not be using any mercury in any form fortunately the mac monal mac uh, <coughs> Sorry, the agency which is giving the survey, uh, Mott McDonald and the UNDP, they have invited me also in the September 2019, and they are before the professors of the IIT, six IITs, and the many scientists. I try to make them understand that uh, here is the process of the Sudan and the Maran, and due to these processes, our mercurial medicines are not poisoned. They are the, having the miracle effect, therapeutic effect. they said if it is like that then where is the evidence then whatever the papers published right from the uh, banaras and the jamnagar pune and the many more places and the, all the pro projects of the science initiative from the arvida from the principal scientific advisor of the country in the repository i just try to convince them with those scientific papers that yes, yes these are the papers having all the physical chemical characteristics the toxicity or uh, study safety profile stability profile everything there then they convinced so friends here i wish to tell you that uh then i wrote a letter to the secretary which is on the screen that this these things are going on then the task force was just constituted uh, and 21st february was the last day there was the ministry of uh, forest and the climate change that if ministry of ayush wish to say about their mercurial uses the mercurial medicines we have to submit and then really the ccrs in the leadership of professor k s dhiman and our secretary by the rajesh kutisa ji both took personal interest and on the date just before 12 14 hours the ministry of ayush submitted the concern that there should be exemptions about the mercury medicine because when we talk about the responsibility even in this national crisis also people are hesitating to talk about the responsibility this is really very unfortunate and all these things are in the mind of people only due to the some uh, i can say uh, there is a misunderstanding uh, they are not knowing whole the procedures of the ayurvedic pharmaceutics whole the procedure they are thinking we are using iron just iron we are using gold just gold or anything else like that the mineral and the metals all the bauteite or the any other mineral chacopyrite whatever you can use all in our material america they never try to understand ki here is a special science very individualized science having a specific processes of the different different procedures of the sodan and the maran they are really very very interesting due to all those we are creating all these industrially toxic material into the form of a medicine so the resources are this and in this period of the covid also the hesitation is unfortunate there must be some good drugs in the advisory from the day first from the ministry of ayush it should not be like that yes i very with the respect and the regard to the all the administrative positions in the ministry of ayush or the whatsoever else the ayurveda is not only the herbs ayurveda has its potency with the rasaudhis and without rasaudhis ayurveda cannot survive i can say it in a very humble way see here the advisories of the ayush and uh, here in this uh, okay uh, let me know the 30 minutes okay i have passed no, no, I, i think 10 minutes so you have just to sign signal me yes so here is the advisories the ayurveda immunity boosting measures for the self care during covid 19 crisis and the uh, 
if you see here the uh, do letter of our secretary to all the chief secretaries of all states and the union territories this is perhaps first time that the country is looking towards the eu system of the medicine and uh, for this the leadership the political leadership of the country the administrative leadership of the ministry of ayus and the political leadership of the ministry of ayus really deserve a very very gratefulness from we all from the country all the from the citizens that uh, in the mainstream which science is living in the every home of the every native village every countryside that has been in the mainstream and uh, that has been popularized yes you also are you also uh, with, you also had witnessed it that the the day advisory was uh, published by the ministry of ayus next day specifically all english newspaper of this country just laughed on us yes what kind of the things it is going on and even one blog was there in the times of india by a sanki people i can say the the word sanki is right from that fellow i don't want to name him that uh, the ministry of ayus should be closed okay it is his opinion we have replied uh, we have reported all his points and uh, he was not knowing anything and uh, then the ministry also wrote uh, to the times of india group this is these are the past but this pain us this kind of attitude to the some sect of the country demoralizes and then when people talk about the resources they and uh, without knowing the resources these when they blame the resources these for everything for any any given problem to the human body yeah wo ayurved ki dawa kha raha tha bhasme kha raha tha isliye usko aisa hua he is facing all that because he is taking the ayurvedic medicines and the bhasma such kind of the things are unwelcome from our side we should invite them that you should first study what we are yes friends see the letter this is of the 20th april and the penta care ayu pharma yes i said in the beginning the in, nowadays uh, it is not pandemic covid but it is the infodemic also and in the both way the false news as well as the good news this was circulated on the many groups and the writer is here of this letter it is addressed to the honorable prime minister dr niranjan murthy yes i wish to congratulate him and if anyone is from uh, uh, hills nearby just convey our all academy of the research that the way he has pointed out very very boldly that uh, the ayurved is not herbal and the answer in the covid fighting with only the herbs will be the big no it is on the second page of this letter and then he is just uh, uh, establishing point wise point wise ki how much scientific studies we have done in the last five dec decades 50 year about the resources and he suggested a lot of resources for different different stages of the covid and all the target group so i appreciate here dr niranjan murthy if any one of you are not having his letter the five page letter to the prime minister directly you just contact me i shall be Uh, having good uh, i shall be a pleasure feeling to share with all these things i am appreciating him because he has not uh, claimed in the sky in the stars he has every line he has quoted with the reference from the nature from the science from the indian journal of the pharmaceutical sciences many papers of we the sas people of the last 20 year what we have published those also has been quoted here so it's a good good step good phenomenal step i can say here that to invite the attention of the administrator about the resources and the whole fraternity of the rasas should convey the thankfulness to the dr niranjan murthy so the rational resources friends swarn yog rajat yog tamra yog law yog abrak yog yashar hartal manasila the whole periphery of the respiratory disorder uh, just we surveyed here that uh, which out of all these are used as an ingredients in the treatment of the respiratory disorders primarily and even the rajyakshma at the highest stage before coming to all that here i wish to invite 
attention of everyone. You are all knowing it, learned scholars who are listening to me. On the sword, there is a good paper. Last one was from the Canada. Just uh, it was establishing that the sword of us is acting at the level of nucleus. It is acting on the mitochondria. Everyone is. I hope I do believe everyone has gone through this. If you talk about the result, it has been established all its action as the antibiotic, antimicrobe, and the gram negative and the gram positive in a good general equal to the Lancet. The Tamri is having the same history. The law is also having a lot of attentions from the all good generals of the science as well as from the Ayurveda. It's getting good place. All the researches. Abhrak here is the master of Abhrak is listening, Professor Rasmita Vele. So she also has published a lot of things about the abrak and it is a well established uh, product of the medicine of rasas which may be used which are doing wonder in the respiratory system of course yes sir the whole basant family all the swarna basant malti and the many things what people are uh, submitting to the this uh, if you see here on the second part it is the covid 19 projects and this COVID-19 projects uh, Pofama, as per the media, 2,000 proposals were submitted there out of 2,000, 1,400 are approximately from the Ayurveda and some, uh, I'm not remembering the exact number, but 14, 1,500 from Ayurveda and the rest 500 is uh, for the other systems of the Ayus. Out of this 1,400, I tried to know from the reliable sources that uh, what is the condition of the all uh, this uh, rasa rasa you will be happy to note it. The, it there is a good share, good share of the rasa sadis too, and uh, they have proposed uh, that. Uh, but uh, yes, I should share with you also that uh, the first meeting of the task force was not uh, very happy with the. Russia said the proposal. I can't speak more than this, but it's the information that the task force in the chairmanship of Professor Bhushan Patavardhan is uh, having more orientation for the research projects to on the hubs. Okay, fine. But there are we also, and I don't know what will be our say. Here. So the systematic strategies are there. Our secretary is doing everything for the keeping us in the mainstream and uh, really uh, he deserved our cooperation, collaboration with all kinds of the appreciation and the adoration. The AYA, AYUS protocols. Yes, I remember uh, Ram Manohar. When this COVID was started, he started writing on the Facebook a lot of uh, self-made slogans and the many, many theories for the Corona and all that. So, yes, here was the Ramanur ideology, and among the Sastris, if I am not wrong, Professor Gopi Krishna uh, was the just suggested some good uh, formulations of the Rasas. And uh, I remember here in our Monday classes, what uh, I engaged with our postgraduate and the doctorate. Uh, the, by, when the COVID started, I interacted with on the COVID, and we have a good uh, discussion. And we find out that uh, what are the in the message of Nauli and the Rasa Thamucha that I am going to explain uh, in the next two slides. And uh, there I try to correlate uh, how the um, good uh, scientific papers of the iron nanoparticle and the uh, nano arsenicals are working and the papers in the support of our claims were there. So it, this was our class discussion, and then we got the Gopi Krishna classification. We discussed that also. Then the Trivandrum school with the, some principals, Jamnagar school, Jaipur, Jodhpur, and the many more people were here. But friends, what is the problem here? See in this side. Here, if we talk anything about Ayurveda, some people talk very irrationally. And that is the reason why the, on the 2nd April, Ministry of Ayush notified that the any false claim or the any campaign even or any things are will be prohibited and that will invite some actions. Integrity is doubtful because some every every physician is having its own formulation and its own experiences. 
that cannot be denied but everything in the air only for the media newspaper and the facebook that must be denied there is a, there must be some rationality and due to all these things we are not getting due care so but here on the same point the strategically we are going well the government support the first is the government of the kerala and uh, karnataka the goa gujarat and even the uttar pradesh uh, we are working here within 2 3 days our chief minister has given bite on the youtube today and uh, certainly uttar pradesh is also coming with all these things so now i am coming to the stages very very fast if you see here it is the document from the ir or in institute of ayurved it is the first stage second stage third stage good division then the target groups here and uh, the in the target group one it is only the treatment uh, preventive treatment then the curative and the symptomatic treatment in the target group two in the target group three integrated care and here if you see their suggestions you find that uh, not only the nisha amlaki but here ribuvan kirti ras is also standing mrutunjay ras is also here the lakshmi narayan ras is also here and many uh, more arogya vardhani is here this provide me kind of satisfaction yes okay and if you see the next then our ras sindhu rasmadik uh, abrak bas satputi if available then the pupali chun and the mahamaks lakshmi vilas ras suvarn malli basant swas pas sintamadi all these rasas and these mentioned in the document of aya really give me satisfaction we all the sastri find that yes it is now the whole ayurveda not only the herbal ayurveda and for this uh, i wish to say thank you to the team which prepared this because i was thinking that it may be on like that why there is nothing uh, on that side but it is full with our all potency if you see this is the dr murthy documents he also did the same and if you see all the suggestions from his side he is also using a lot of uh, rasaushadis all along with the herbal medicines see tribun kirti ras nardiya lakshmi vilas ras and uh, many more i can say brihat swas ka sinta madi and the mahamrutunjay ras everything is even he is advising the hem garb portal so my point of uh, attention for you all that you should not feel that people are not remembering rasaushadis there is a certain sect which is only talking about the uh, against the rasaushadis there are the many many good supporters of the rasaushadis also and they are having the this kind the same kind of the opinion that uh, it is like that uh, if it is give me that paper of the here here yes okay <clears throat> uh yeah next before coming to the ayurveda argumentation yes here this is the day before yesterday the health principal health secretary of the gujarat and uh, madam jayanti is speaking that they have treated infected patients with the ayurvedic medicines it's a matter of pride for us we all are with this are thankful to the government of gujarat and specifically the directorate of ayurveda and the jamnagar university professors experts who contributed and uh, they have given the protocol and according to that protocol covid infected patients were treated in the government by the gujarat government and this is a press statement by the government of gujarat next please friends i just uh, this selected two books for the rasat samuchay and the vaisesh ratnavali the reason rasat samuchay is the giving you a thorough therapeutics of ayurveda it is a turning test book in which uh, yes it is not uh, that time to explain all that but if you see the 30 chapters then 11 chapters are only for the dhatu vad and the next everything is for the therapeutics 
And why I selected Bhaskar Ratnavali? Because this is the only compilation in which all herbal as well as all the resources are quoted for the particular diseases. And this is the perhaps first classics of Ayurveda with the name of the chapter is with the disease. Next please. See here, in the Rasmat Samuche, uh, Swas Rogadhikar and the Rajachma Rogadhikar, if you see the total formulation, the 10 and here is the 22. Herbal in the Rasmat Samuche, just one, whereas the metallics are the nine and the predominant metals are here, Tam and the Manashila. In the Rajachma Adhikar, if you will see, then the uh, number is like that. Metallic preparations are 19. Suwan, Law, Tam, Rtut, number is given. And even into the Vaisarat Navali also, we are having the prominence of the Suwan Law, this. If you see here that the, even I must say, okay, I just supported there in the project about the Raj Mrigankras to the ministry. They are the Rasindu, three parts, Shonabhasm, Tamrabhasm, Manasila, Hartal, Gandhak, and the Azadud Bhavanar. It's a, having a very good efficacy, the Rajmragant Ras there. And uh, if you see the Basant Malti Ras here also, Shonabhasm, Moti, Pristi, Sudhengul, Mar, Marichun, and the Kharpar Bhasma, eight part. My point is this, and one very good uh, renowned physician, in the Europe, he suggested us that why you are not working on the Kasturi virus. I said, sir, Kasturi is uh, prohibited. Okay, what Kasturi? Maybe this uh, sanitizer, ethyl alcohol was prohibited, but now it is really available. The government may make it possible to have the Kasturi. Sir, all the listeners uh, and all seniors, my senior, like Professor Asintavele, Madam, uh, what we think about the Kasturi virus and if it's three types of Kasturi Bhairav, Swalp, Madhyam, Brihat, and they are very good effective on all the symptoms which are coming due to the COVID. So with all these, uh, having uh, contributions from the side of the Rasavsadis for the treating all the cause, cause of the death due to the COVID that can be tackled, that can be challenged by our Rasavsadis, if given the opportunity. And here it is really centenary, celestial for us, because if we will prove now that we are doing something good for the science and specifically for the Rasad, with all taking, see this notification is available today on, just today, I emphasize on the web page of the Ministry of IUS, the five pages are there for the EMR, they have modified and anyone can submit it uh, in this form. And uh, of course, uh, <coughs> This order uh, is uh, something like that it is having and uh, just two minutes, two slides for the modern medical science. Yes, everything is, they are going very well. They are tackling it with their, their best, but this, their best general is changing ideology, changing drug, changing principles, changing everything of the therapeutics, what they are knowing to get the particular proper treatment protocol for the COVID. If this so highly developed science is moving here and there, then what's wrong if our thousand year tested resources should be also given a chance here. See, this is the Afternoon data of the Ministry of Health. Now the India has 15,474. It may be up to the evening more than 16,500. If the rate is going on the same way. So here, I this ministry is having very reticent announcements. They are not taking, they are not telling everything, but they are telling that is needed for the uh, common public. In this ministry, Someone of us are said that the specifically noted that the ministry should be known as a ministry of allopathic medicine, not ministry of health. It seems something fine like that. Because if it is the ministry of health, why they are not giving due concentration through its ICMR projects for the every system of the health here? Ministry of IUS is doing separately, but if they will combine hand with us, certainly the Indian population, even I can say the global citizen will be on the benefit side. So here, uh, we have, I am I, supposed to speak 30 minutes and 30 minutes has been completed, but just five, six minutes more. 
the eleventh eighty reasons why the source of these were amalgamated, accommodated in the mainstream of Ayurveda, which was herbal dominant. Answer is known to everyone. Even for this mercurial products, the Paracelsus, the Gaelan, everyone tried to work on the use of the medicinal use of the mercury in the metals. 1826 library, a book of the usage and the abuses of the mercury in the American Defense Library. Their papers into the their all the BMJ up to the 1940-1960 are giving evidence that they tried for all that. But mercury, they can't move more than calomel. And they don't know the sanskar sudan jara, mara. So if they are not knowing anything, that is bad. With this attitude, Britishers crushed Rasar. But now Rasar should not be crushed. The, our imperials, our regulators, our administrators are Indians. And they are knowing that Rasas is having potency. So the 21st AD reasons will be the same. There are the frustration eyes. I have just shown you that uh, what is the condition of the uh, NEGM or the any, uh, even the JAMA. So there, here is a light in the ACE and that is in the form of the Rasas. If everyone will be there. See this controversy. Prince Charles office refutes Indian Ministry Ayurveda like to coronavirus than the, our Irish minister. Yes, the inner side is story is this. He, he has taken the treatment from the Bangalore-based doctors, and but they are denying because in their national health system, Ayurveda or the IU system is not recognized. So it's like that, yes, true, but we can't say it public. And even uh, after their denial, our ministers again said that, yes, he has taken the I use drugs and so he, he, he is a beneficiary. It means there was something great. He has taken our drugs. Anyhow, so the recent revelation is this that here it is the plasma therapy they are talking about that. And now we are, this is the advertisement for the research. I research, this is the 21st April. If you see the date and this link, it is really inviting for we all. And we should move and we should submit there some of our good proposals of the Rasav Sadir, whatever the things we are thinking that with our clinical experience that it may be good for us and that should be like that. We should uh, submit our proposals, very sound proposals from all across country, all the viewers who are listening it, uh, right from uh, south, west, east, north, every side of the country should just uh, submit their proposals with the Rasa Sadir with a good standard of a project. Here, friends, may I request, and I know everyone is have everyone has downloaded the Arogya Shetu and Aswasan Suraksha today, 12 p.m., 22nd of prayer, the Union Home Minister took the meetings of the IMA, doctors, everyone here in the security and assured that the, all the corona fighters, all the health professionals will be promoted. Yeah, I'm a university professor. I should say in a um, uh, very, very honest way, because there is a, some provision with the government, but the universities are autonomous. If this meeting of the IMA, if some IUS doctor association will, had been addressed by the Honorable Home Minister, we should be encouraged. See, friends, we have. Uh, gone through the incidents of the Muradabad three days back, and that Dr. Sudhir Chandra Gawal is the MD Ayurveda Kachikitsa. It is not like that ki we are not facing that all hurdles, only the IMA people are heading the hurdles. So here is the need, a broader sense of the Indian administrators. Doctors means not only the allopathic doctors, but I use doctors too. And in this national crisis, if today's meeting is like this for the IMA only, there must be some oversight people also because we are also getting the same kind of treatment by the common public in performance of our duties. So the personal hygiene, the social distancing, yoga, Ayurveda, preventive, creative, all the measures and of course the resource will be the answer. The conclusion of the my talk is very simple. This graph is here like high, high and uh, no, yes, this graph is this. This has to be flattened. This has to be flattened. And that is the conclusion. And it is possible if the government 
Ministry of Health, Ministry of IOS, everyone except the Rasa Hussadis in their treatment protocol, certainly this will be free and graph will be the flattened. And finally, I wish to say you a good thanks, Dr. P.K. Sarkar. And before I conclude, here is a challenge, friends. You are seeing on the screen, the Indian Health Minister is giving an interview. I will yog me abhi nahi hai is chunauti ka hal. When he given this statement, I wrote him, I tagged him, and whatever whatever I can, uh, I can do in a uh, humble way. I did everything, and to the his office also. You know, your this statement is contradict to the national policy. Whatever prime minister is saying, you are talking against that. And then only on the sixth April, Ministry of Health on their website posted the advisories of the Ministry of Ayush. Friends, we are the Rasastri. See, here is a lecture of the history of Rasas in the Ayurveda network proposal of the UGC. May I say you with most humbleness, don't make Rasas a history. Just read history for our advancement. Uh, if the same thing will be go on with us, then certainly Rasas will be a history. So here, Yadavji Tikramji of this century, and what the amount of the Rasa of Sadis he, uh, he had used in his roaring practice of the Mumbai, and the same kind of the Rasa even today, they are who are practicing this. I'm not a clinician. I'm from the, I can say I'm an academician, I can, I'm a policy maker. I'm personally not a good clinician. But the clinical Rasa is the answer and all those who are working in this field, Balendu Prakash or the Gopi or the many more, Nech Sasikar, Nech Sashikumar, Nech Chil, Anand Kati, many more, many more, Sanjay Khedkar or whatsoever the people who are using this Rasavasadis as their medicine, I congratulate them and wish that uh, they will do everything. Once again, I am very much thankful to my colleague here, Dr. Rohit, who helped me in the some shots of the uh, all these uh, Counting of the formulations and my team of the PZ of the Banaras Hindu University, PhD, Dr. Priya, Dr. Shamitra, Dr. Sakti for all their kind help. And now I'm ready for your questions. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So before starting the question, I have been informed that Professor P.K. Prajapati is also here. So welcome, sir. Uh, 